few months ago, actually back in December, uh, with our uh, library foundation, we worked together to secure a grant from the Dean and Margaret Lesher Foundation to uh, purchase two 3D printers. And then those are going to be the cornerstone of our makerspace. Um, the makerspace is going to be an area where library patrons can come in um, and not just you know, cruise the internet or read a book or check out a magazine, but actually build, design, and walk away with a toy, a new tool, a phone case, a prototype for their new business, anything that they can think of. So Type A Machines is supplying 3D printers for the makerspace here at the Walnut Creek Library. Um, the machines are the Series 1 3D printer, and they're machines that can make really big objects from a really wide range of materials. We're going to be having a series of classes throughout the summer. Uh, Thursdays at 1.30 is going to be for teens, um, and Tuesday nights at 5 o'clock will be the adult classes, and I'll go over um, how to calibrate the machines, how to create um, the designs, or find a design that's already been created, how to load it into the printer, and then print. No experience necessary. Um, I'll be there to sort of teach you and guide you through, but once you've got a little bit of an understanding, they're really easy to use. And it's for everybody, from, from little kids to people that, that don't know how to use computers. Anyone's welcome to come down. The really great thing about putting 3D printing uh, in a public library is that people who would probably never have thought of applications before will have a chance to use 3D printing and they will come up with new ways to use it. I think probably one of the most surprising things has been the enormous range of people that I've met who aren't just excited about 3D printing but have ideas about how they're going to use it. And it's, it's like the internet but it actually makes real things. And we all thought the internet like was an explosion of crazy possibilities. This is the internet in a box and it actually makes real things. And that's actually a little bit scary, but in a good way.